Hello and welcome everybody. In this video, we will discuss Sahipro's auto heal functionality. As we incrementally build our application in Agile, our application is bound to change. The screens and their elements are prone to changes in their placement, attributes, and accessors. This leads to problems with test automation, creation, and execution. Our test scripts show false failures due to elements not being found just because some attribute or accessor changed. This means we need to constantly edit and maintain our test scripts for any changes in the elements to keep them working and avoiding false failures. This exercise could be more time consuming than scripting itself. Sahipro 9.0 brings you the all new concept of auto heal. Sahipro's auto heal functionality allows automatic healing and recovery of failing scripts based on the data from its previous runs. Auto heal is the ability of the automation script to heal itself when it encounters a failure. Let us see how this works. Let us open the scenario file we created for our shopping cart application. Please follow the previous parts of this step-by-step -step video series to create your own scenario for a test application. Links to the previous videos can be found in the description below. Let us execute this scenario file once again with auto heal enabled. Click on playback. In the advanced run options, we have the enable auto heal checkbox. Select it and then run. Our run was successful. This enables Sahi to store the data of this script all its elements and their properties for future reference. Now, let us imagine that in the next print, our application changes slightly. So, now our login button is called as sign in. And also, there are some other changes in the elements inside this page. Without making any changes in the script whatsoever, let us just try to execute it with auto heal and see what happens. So, I'll enter the start URL of the application for the next print, ensure that auto heal is enabled, and run. When an element is not found during the playback, Sahipro looks for a viable alternate based on the data of its previous runs. If the alternative works fine, Sahi will mark the change in the logs and continue execution. So, as you can see now, my script passed. Let us see the logs. In the logs, it highlights the step. It shows that the accessor used in the script was not found and shows the details of the alternative used instead. You are also shown a screenshot of the application with the intended element highlighted. You can go to the exact line of code to see where the change needs to be made. Similarly, it has shown the same for all the elements that were auto-healed in the script at various points in the log. So you see how easy and intuitive it is. If you wish to use auto-heal for the runs from Sahi controller or during your recording from the controller, you can set it globally. To do this, go to configure, go to user data properties and set Sahi auto heal enabled property as true. For suite execution, the suite playback level settings override the global settings. Sahi Pro's auto heal capability can reduce unnecessary failures and minimize the effort spent in stopping, analyzing, and rerunning your scripts. Check out more details about auto heal and the other features of Sahi Pro 9.0 in the links provided below or request for a personal demo by Sahipro support. Thanks for watching.